Hey folks, Michael McGee here. We have been invited to participate in a bridge building contest. Now, I didn't know what in the world they was talking about when they invited us to do this. It's some really good friends of mine. And so I, you know, I asked what was going on and they've got these kits. And in the kit, they've got 200 popsicle sticks and a bottle of glue. That is it. You can't use anything except these items to build your bridge. The bridge has to span a 19 and one half inch gap. And so we're gonna make our bridges roughly 22 inches long. There's some rules we have gone over and we're gonna to try to make sure that we abide by those rules and so these packets cost us ten dollars a piece now at the contest when we take these and they get put to the test whoever has the strongest bridge collects the money that sounds like a pretty good deal i wonder if these people knew we were in construction <laughs> so we bought four packs each of my boys and myself are going to build this thing and there's different age classifications, so we have multiple chances of winning. So this is gonna be fun, but the problem is we've never done it before, so we're kind of at a disadvantage. If we get invited next year, maybe we'll do better. I don't know, I don't have my heart set on winning, but I wanna do my absolute best and see how it goes, and that's all you can do. So I'm gonna start out by drawing, um, by drawing what I want the bridge to look like and I will use that when I glue these on because you just can't make a straight line with sticks accidentally. So here we go. I've got one stick left. I have built and built and built and I keep looking and thinking, where is the weakest link? Where is this thing gonna start breaking down? This one stick right here could make or break my entire competition. So I've gotta figure this out. I'm kinda of leaning towards having one on each side right here to help keep these from spreading out. One thing we're guaranteed, this bridge will be broken by the time the competition is over because that's just what you do. My son David built that and he's finished with it pretty much. I'm kind of glad he's in a different age class. I'm afraid he might beat me. <laughs> but anyway, it is almost time to go and get these things tested to their limit. So let's go see what happens at the big deal. Well, we made it to the barn where it's all gonna go down and what a beautiful barn it is. Looks like we got some stiff competition here today and I've got a feeling that we have not seen it all yet. I think there's more coming and I kind of like what I see right over here. That may, that may be going well here for too long. So anyway, we're gonna get right into it. The reason a child doesn't know what they're doing is because you're not teaching. As a parent, as a manager, whatever you are, you're responsible to make this world a better place. I just want to get that challenge out there for y'all. Let's bow our hands and ask the lesson. Good Lord, thank you for allowing us to get together. I ask you bless the food, bless the hands and carry it, and also ask you bless the rules of this competition. Give us all uh, grace to one another and build it to one. Just send it for it. Amen. All of your registration money will be given out as prize money.
post that she made, the announcer made this. That day. Joe McGee's up next. Joe won his. 
made it home and this is the very next morning we had a blast last night I just couldn't believe it and if if we would have been having a competition with only the four of us I would have figured you know dad's gonna win that and uh, David had probably come in a close second and Joel them kids last night threw Joel's in the fire so he, he don't have his but anyway um, I would have figured Joe was second and Matthew here I would have I mean third and I would have figured Matthew would have come in last but you know what it didn't work that way at all Matthew come in first and he even beat everybody in the entire thing he had two three three hundred and seventy two pounds which beat the the best weight of any person an adult or kid so I am proud of Matthew and but the funny thing is we all placed either first or second we all got money bring that money out I don't know if I said it earlier in the video but I had to pay ten dollars for the kits to build these ten dollars a piece so I had to fork out 40 bucks and I'm telling you what we got all total here hundred and ten dollars out of this deal so we come out smelling like a rose of course I give all 40 and I'm just getting 25 back but I could get them to give me 10 a piece just to pay for the things but that's not what it's all about it's all about having fun building these things and I really thought I was gonna lose all forty dollars anyway so it don't matter but we had a blast so anyway I believe that Matthew beat their all-time record at that barn ever and I'm not sure how many time how many years that they've been running that but I think it's been five or six seven years and he beat their all-time record I can't believe it. Congratulations, young man. I guess I'll let you take over my construction business when you get a little older, okay? <laughs> but anyway, it just goes to show you, you can't tell, you know, what makes one better than the other. But I mean, after it's over, you can look back and see, I believe, you know, I see why he has won. But next year, folks, next year, this time next year, we will probably be doing this again. So. This is the first time we've ever done it. But anyway, we're going to get out of here. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.